Hey guys, Steve Lab here. Uh, on this video here, I got a call from some guy calling for his mother. He said that the um, indoor evaporator was dirty, and he, he thinks that's why the air condition is not working. He changed the filter and stuff. So I went by there. You know, when you get these flipping calls from these people, you have to check everything. You know, you got you know start from the you know put your gauges on a unit and find out if there's even any flipping gas in the unit uh, before you start ripping and tearing, taking some bloody some bloody uh, guy's, uh, you know, information that he, like, he, like he really knows what he's talking about with air conditioning. You know, you have to be careful with stuff like that. Oh, yeah, I know it needs, I know it needs Freon. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's probably, a, it's probably a run cap or, uh, you know, something else that's a problem. So don't take nobody's word for anything. Um, yeah, 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 whatever, I'll check it out. You know, and how many times have I, I got calls from, you know, these, these old so-and-so, this other mechanic came and said, you know, the system's no good and it needs to be totally, you go there, you know, it, it needs a, uh, you know, a contact or a burnt wire or something, you know, you don't take anybody's word for stuff. You check everything yourself. But anyway, this video, um, older lady, an older carrier unit and, uh, was completely out of Freon when I went there. Uh, she says, oh, you know, it hasn't worked. It hasn't worked in a couple of years. I don't know what the problem is. So, uh, you know, I explained to her. I said, this is an old system here. You know, I could do a leak search and, you know, take time. And now I got to pull a vacuum on it. If, even if I can find a leak, if I can fix it, it might be a waste of time. So anyway, I ended up putting uh, dry nitrogen on it. And, uh, you know, I went around and I looked in the evaporator. It looked pretty clean. I didn't see no oil. I sprayed all. It was like a, you know, uh, a slant type of evaporator on the carrier and i was sprayed the whole side down with um you know, soapy bubbles uh stuff in i didn't see any, any bubbles or anything that looked like a leak i couldn't hear anything in there and uh it seemed like a pretty good leak so i went outside and i sprayed down all the king valves with um you know leak detector and the king valves wanted the, the, the suction line king valve started bubbling up like crazy so i took the cap off and uh, I was able to turn the king valve in a little bit, and the O-ring stopped leaking. Weird. Um, it was leaking like crazy when it was backed all the way out. And it almost looked like the little C the retaining clip was all rusty. Got all rusty in there or something. So I turned it in a little bit, and it seemed to hold the pressure. So uh, I pulled a vacuum on the system, and I put some gas in it. I charged it up and uh, got it running for us, so... Like I told her, I said, hey, it's running today. Who knows? The thing might only last. Who knows how long it's going to last. But, it, it, you know, it pulled down. It pulled down in the vacuum. So uh, I recharged it for her. She got lucky on this one. But that's it. You know, they're not, sometimes they get lucky. Sometimes they don't. It's just the way of nature of the beast. All right, guys. It's not a, it's not a big video. Just a little short video. Hopefully you enjoy it. She's completely out of Freon. She wants me to do a leak search, so that's what I'm gonna do. When I came here, this cap was off, so I'll put a little green on a little nitrogen in there. Let me check it. Well, that's ridiculous. You seen how bad that thing was. 
crazy. Okay. All right, yeah, bye. That's a bad one. Yeah, there's a fluffy leak right there. Nasty. Service valve. This other one seems to be okay. It's just this one. I'll try turning it in a little bit. See what happens. <clears throat> Definitely slowed it down. I'm going to be able to put some nylog on there and uh, seal it up for now until I can get a new valve for it. So I checked the inside unit and it seemed to be uh, seemed to be okay the evaporator. All right, I'm gonna pull a vacuum on it. Raw power from in here. I put my log on there. I turned it in and it stopped. It stopped bubbling. So I'll pull a vacuum on it. Get some freon in for it. A 66 wet bulb. And we'll say 80 degrees. It's about 18, 78. So we're about 20 degrees superheat is what we're looking for today. Pretty damn good right there. I'm good with that charge. It's within one. So as long as I'm within five, I'm good. That's it. And I cleaned all inside there. I pulled all that. There was a bunch of leaves in there. I pulled them all out by hand. The stuff that was in there. It's running good. This valve, I was able to turn it in. And the O-ring um, stopped leaking. So I like to put these caps on good when I'm done. Nylog. Tighten them up good so it won't leak out. Nobody can come play around with them. That's it. I told her she needs a new system. Uh, it's at its end of its life, but as long as it's running, we'll, uh, we'll keep it running for her.